Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday Night Nightcap. It's actually Sunday night now. I've been away at a steam rally all weekend with Richard. That's why I'm, I'm this colour. Um, my intention was to come home last night and do this part of the video because I normally do this bit on a Saturday night. Uh, but the lads wouldn't let us leave. They made us drink vast amounts of beer. So I had to stop up there and I've literally just arrived home now. Anyway, I've had a great weekend, really enjoyed myself uh, with a fantastic bunch of lads. If you're watching this, thanks very much. In tonight's nightcap, I do the draw for the digital micrometer we are offered last week. And that's 250 names have come in this week, so that's quite a, a lot of names in the book now. Um, keep them coming in, the more the merrier, really. means we've got less chance, but everybody else has got the same chance. So tonight's nightcap... I draw the winning name for that. Uh, I do some more work on the crankshaft on the stationary engine with the balance weights and whatnot. Do a little bit of machining on that. Uh, probably in part two, I modify my part and off tool. I was watching a video of, oh yeah, I was editing some video and I noticed my part and tool actually tilted when I put a heavy load on it. Um, so I'll go about sorting that out. I'll show quite a lot of that. As some of your mail came in this week, I'll not be going to open that, I haven't got time to open it. Um, I'll do that for next week. So the first thing I want to do is draw a name out of the bucket for the digital micrometer. A good steer about. Right, that one. Right, the name I've got is David Charlton. Right, David, I'll get that in the post for you this week, as soon as I get your address. I'm going to do another giveaway this week. The giveaway is going to be one of the DTI gauges that Bob overhauled for us. I'll get a close-up shot of that later on. As always, if you want to go in to the raffle, all you've got to do is send me an email with your name on it. That's my email address up there. Your name goes into the bucket. Either myself or Steg or Debs, somebody will pull it out. If it's your name, I'll post it off completely free of charge anywhere in the world. It's just a little bit of a little bit to say thank you for all the help I've had. This is the DTI. It's gonna be in this week's giveaway. It's a Mitsu Toyo DTI. It has a nice handle on there so you can lift the plunger away from the job to turn the job or move the job in really nice condition. Bob's work is magic on it, nice and smooth, fantastic prize. Just send your name in, you'll be entered in the draw. It's going to be won by somebody. Next Monday, uh, Debs and I fly to America uh, to the Bars in Bash. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Debs is really looking forward to it. Well, I'm just going to the Bash. Where we're going to Dallas to stop with a friend there, then we're going to go to Vancouver, and then Vancouver Island. It's going to be a real adventure. I'd just like to say a massive thanks to everybody who supported us by buying a t-shirt or how you did it. Thanks very much, because without your support, there's no way we would be going to America. Uh, it really is fantastic, and I will try and do my best to uh, make you proud of us. Anyway, thanks very much. Machine and drill two blocks to go onto the end of the crank actors counterbalance weights. Um, I'll be able to put this back between centres and put a radius on there, and then probably just taper those two ends once the radius is done. I'm just sort of going to make it up as I go along. We've got two identical blocks, so I need to transfer those two holes across to that one as well. Seventeen point five is. Mm. 
go back to zero and fifteen the other way. Center there. Make sure the top goes in nice and straight. I can't find it at the top wrench, so I'll have to use this. Gentle pressure on the on the quilt to make sure the top goes in nice and straight, which it is. Right, they've all been topped down to full depth. Make sure there's no rags left on them. Once again, this Noga tool is absolutely ideal for doing this. flat find some suitable boards and board the bounce pieces on Once they're on, I don't think it'll be coming off. So I can put the crank back in between centers and it runs through no problem at all, just to machine these balance weights. Was having the desired effect around in the end off. I think it's going to look quite nice. Um, I'm taking half a mil of cut, which is uh, more than enough for an interrupted cut. I'm running at 90 RPM, which is really as fast as it wants to be going. Has a desired effect, and that looks quite nice. Once I get all the machining done, I'll put a new tip in and play around with it, the speeds and feeds, and I'll soon be able to get a better finish than that. the four champers zone. I just want to try and improve that finish on there. You often find on a nice light finishing spot like this, a piece of high speed steel, round and polished bone, really sharp, is better than a tip tool. That certainly sounds like it's put a decent finish on, it has no vibration, it's cut nice, taking very little off. 
where you really need to take a dry cut by dry having an open machine running, you can see how close the crank is to the end of the cross slide. It is going to miss, but it's very close. Right, and that's certainly acceptable. Just use that just to round off now, and we're looking pretty good to go. I put a nice chamfer on there when I had it in the lathe, and on there as well. So all I want to do is chamfer the chamfer the sides of the crank webs. I'm going to divide up on a couple of parallels. <clears throat> Got a nice 45 degree chamfer tool in there. Run this nice and slow, a little bit of oil. And all I'm doing is making sure that the, the chamfer looks the same depth as the chamfer that's on the edge of the web. Doing it by eye, so to speak. That looks good. Nice and slow, just do it in one cut. I'll be able to get most of the edges with this tool. I'll be little bits in the air I can't get. I'll finish them off with a file. That's basically all the machining finished on this now. I have some little bits in here, some pieces on there to finish off with a file, finish off by hand. But basically we've now got the crank with the right stroke, nice and straight, running true. What I may do is fill these holes in with solder. It'll put a little bit more weight on and it'll also prevent any possibility of those screws coming loose. They won't come loose on here because I really did tighten them in. All in all, I'm quite quite pleased with it. I've also got that hole there to blank off, and there's a one in there to blank off. I'll probably just use hard wax to blank them off with. It doesn't need to be anything fantastic. Good luck, Steve.